Now let's notice this uh, VI characteristic of the xenodiode. You can see that in the forward biasing, it is it's it seems like that uh, the forward and reverse biasing curve is same as as the uh, case of a normal diode, but there is some difference here. As we are uh, concerned with the negative part, this uh, uh, reverse uh, voltage part as it is used in the reverse uh, mode. So let's observe this. Here you can see that we are increasing the reverse voltage but the current is not increasing. It is nearly constant. This is known as the reverse saturation current. As this is the uh, reverse current reverse volt due to reverse voltage and it is quite seems like saturated current. So it is known as reverse saturation current which is very small in quantities. and. Uh, at a certain voltage this is known as vz the zener voltage here is the this is the breakdown voltage for the zener diode it suddenly breaks down actually the structure and when we keep on increasing the voltage the diode suddenly breaks down and the current suddenly starts to increase okay you can see here that uh, if we uh, want to further increase the reverse voltage then also the voltage is not increasing the current is it is flowing infinite amount of current although the current is increasing but the voltage has stopped at vz so we can use the zener diode as a voltage regulator because if we in a, if we use it in a circuit then uh, the current varies it increases to higher current then it will not increase it will not let the voltage increase and it, it will be constant at the vz the uh, breakdown voltage of the zener here it is not increasing although the current is increasing although a small amount of current flows through the circuit in the reverse biasing so even on increasing the voltage uh, because uh, we have uh, a small amount of uh, minority charge carriers in p and n sides so because of uh, this these less number of charges the current that we get is reverse saturation current is very small but if we keep on increasing the voltage then at some stage it creates an electric field that is high enough to break the bonds of the electrons okay so electrons are electrons and holes are produced in large amount and this condition where the structure of the atom breaks and the electron is electrons are released is known as the breakdown of the diode and this happens at very low voltages because of high doping in case of zener diodes okay so breaking of the bonds or breaking of the electrons from its atom or breaking of the structure the lattice of the uh, diode ions is known as the zener breakdown so if you like the video please uh, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy you can get more details on my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com thanks for watching have a nice day please subscribe and like the video bye bye friends for more such videos you can subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye